mixer manager. Uh, mixer properties is where you can set up the truck, whatever you want in there. Units, each one of these is independent, pick what you need. Mixer settings, components come pre-populated from factory with what's on the truck. Materials, add in each component or each material to a mix. And what it is, so if you go and add a new one, a new add mix. And it's, uh, the dilution rate would be entered here, so if I was splitting this half and half, it would be 50%. Green check mark saves it, and there's my new add mix. And then we go and calibrate. Each one of these operates the same. So gate materials, and if I wanted to put a new material in there, I put it in respective gate, which one it is. And then we go add trials. And then it's going to need a new one. Revolutions used to be, if you're doing 200 counts, you do divide it by 32. Um, some of the just for round numbers, we've been using six for the lower gate settings and three for the larger gate settings. So six revolutions is the belt shaft itself, not so much the belt, it's the shaft. And gate settings, three for the start. Make sure this is zeroed and then start. It'll do its revolutions. When it's done, it'll stop. This will go to blue and then you take your weight and add it straight in here whatever it is and select out of it and it'll populate into here if there was a recorded on there. Uh, minimum two gate settings so gate set of three one trial gate set of six one trial will populate a slope right there and same for dry materials or your cement fly ash take your pick then add trial, same thing, give it a target, zero of the reported, run it. Doesn't have to be in any special mode, as soon as you press this button, it'll actually spit out dry material, whatever you're calibrating. So in this case, cement. When it's done, this will turn blue, enter in your measure, and X out of it, and it'll populate into there. Um, on dry materials, single point calibration, gate materials have to have two gate sets. Liquid materials, same thing, you add mix, we're going to pick the add mix that we added, and then you go calibrate, target, and we're going to say 10 ounces, reported, zeroed out, run it, in this case it's actually going to run. It'll shut off, turn blue, and we're going to enter a measured three check mark and check mark. So it's going to have a new populated add mix in there. Cool, that is all the calibrations. Then we're going to go into mix designs. So to create a new mix design, green button, name it. strength from mix design and water to cement is grayed out until you get any materials in there so again just add your materials as needed these are arbitrary numbers just for demo uh, let's go top down so sand again just putting numbers in Every time you use a component, it disappears. You can't put it in twice. Yeah, 
and when you've got all the components entered from your mix and all that's left here is add mix 2 and once you've got all the components added into your mix from your mix design go back make sure you got a gate setting and in here you can change whether you want to restrict the gate so if you wanted like a gate A to be maxed out at 10.8 or 11 you could set that in here individual so each gate you can restrict in this new commander system so now it's got a populated of water cement and it'll pick the one that's the maxed out so in this case cement is at a hundred percent and so it'll scale the rest down from there and it always gives you the max production rate green check mark saves it Alright, to access a new, start a new job, queue jobs, we're going to add a new one, we're going to look for that mix that I just put in, test 26, yes, and that should be this one, test 26, again you should have values in here, make sure your belt and your auger has got a percentage set the gates to the right height and then um, should be able to press either auto link with button 10 on the keypad and then button 6 with the belt. We'll start it. And it's not in simulate so it will actually fold out. But that is how to start a mix. To end a mix select, reset, and it'll ask you do you want to reset your job Yes, if you want to see your completed job, some completed jobs, last in, and then you can print any job. If we go back, we can print yesterday's jobs, print, you name it.